is we're doing on May 18th uh, at the Baltimore Hostel, uh, mm -hmm. like Egyptian Evening. Okay. Uh, it's called mm -hmm. Egyptian Delight. Oh, and yeah. because it involves Egyptian cuisine. Okay. So uh, we have actually one of the member, volunteer member in our committee, she's a chef. Oh. And she's gonna demonstrate how you prepare uh, one of the dessert called Vespusa. Mm -hmm. And then Sounds everybody good. gonna have yeah. dinner. Are you inviting us to dinner? <laughs> yes, absolutely. Okay, good. Yes, yes, we absolutely. love to eat. It's, it's Sunday, May 18th at 3 p.m. At the Baltimore okay. Hostel. Ba Baltimore Hostel, which is uh, across from the Pratt Library. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then uh, we're going to have the folklore dance, the same mm -hmm. group mm -hmm. that they, same uh, day. they did dance. So that give, uh, give a, a culture about the Egyptian culture. Sure. Sounds like Food a fun and event. Dance. Sounds Beautiful. Like a fun day. Beautiful. Yeah. Uh, you said your, that's your culture? Are you from Egypt? Uh, originally, I was born in Egypt, but I, I have been living here for the past 40 years. 40 years? 40 years. Wow. Yes. <laughs> oh, you don't have an accent at all. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> That's a joke. <laughs> wow. So. My, my sons are better than me because they born here. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to take a break, and when we come back, we'll speak more with Al. Yep. Stay tuned. You know, both are great. So after you eat, and it's sundown, you can really kind of create something sweet. They make these little pancakes, and then they fill them with nuts, and they deep fat fry them, and they pour a sweet syrup over them. They're absolutely mm -hmm. delicious and all the time. And these are the lechen, which are sweet fried pastry fingers, which have syrup on them. They're also wonderful. And these are grilled fawns over arugula. Arugula in Egypt is a peasant food, so it's very cheap, and it's everywhere. And they think it's very funny that it's a gourmet item in there. <laughs> this is um, kunafa. They, they strip it away. And the first thing that they strip away uh, when, they, when they process the flour is they strip away the, the bran and the germ. After they strip that away, the third layer is the semolina. And that looks like this. It's this yellow thing. So this is right before we get the regular flour from when we use the semolina. So it is a uh, uh, lot of product. This is two cups. And we're going to put that into our bowl. And then we have a teaspoon of baking powder. This is similar. In Turkey, they have a sweet called Revani. And this is an Egyptian version. This is a cup of sugar. And in other Middle Eastern countries like Lebanon, they have another version called Namur. But in Egypt, we call it Vespusa. And then we can just stir the, those dry ingredients up together. We don't need a processor or anything to do this. <laughs> and then we're going to add our butter. We'll need about three quarters of a cup of butter. Just a stick and a half. You just want to make sure it's soft. Butter on hand. This is going to make a 9 by 13. And then we have to add yogurt. This is, this is just plain yogurt, not sweet. Then we stir it all together. And it's interesting to see a cake with no eggs, but the yogurt really takes the place of it. And because you have a little bit of baking powder, it still is going to rise up a little bit, so you're going to have some kind of body to the cake. It's not going to be completely flat. You can put coconut in here. Some people put coconut. You can play around with the ingredients of butter and yogurt. You can put more yogurt, less butter. And you all have my website on there and my email. So if you have questions, just let me know. And semolina is a really good product to have on hand because we use it in a lot of industry sweets and a lot of cookies and pastries. And it gives a very nice texture and a really good taste also. And also in Southern Italy, they make pastas with semolina. So that's our batter. It's all board. It's not rocket science. And then we're just going to butter our pan. Does anyone have any questions? Where can you get some? Semolina? You can get it at the health food stores, the organic stores. 
stores, Middle Eastern stores, but sometimes the regular supermarkets are in the same place. Like Whole Foods. Whole Foods are definitely not. There's the Coco Market here in Baltimore, the area that has the Middle Eastern food. They'll have it. And then I'm just going to spread that in here. Where is it, Coco Market? I don't have it. I don't remember where it's off my head, but I have a list. We can ask Abdul what have emails, or else um, I can email it to you if you email me. Amy, you can also substitute <laughs> Farina. It's the same thing. Farina is actually a little bit different because it's the same thing. Sorry? It's the same taste. It's the same taste, but it's a different color and a little different consistency. And I think probably the only places they find farina, they find some of them. And then just spread it out on the bottom like this. You just want to cover the pan. And then you put almonds on top. If you're obviously allergic, you don't have to put almonds, or if you don't like almonds, you can put a different nut. But the almonds are traditional. And you can put the blanched almonds, you have to blanch your own. If you want to use sliver, because it's easy, you can. And then you place them down here in the bottom. And you space them equally apart. Because what's going to happen is when you bake this, you want to be able to cut it into equal sized portions. And if you just scatter the, the nuts, it gets hard to cut. So if you space them like this, maybe five or six across and about four down, then when you cut after it bakes, you can cut around. And then you have to make your sauce, excuse me, the um, syrup. So this is two cups of um, sugar and a cup of water. And I have some zest in there from one lemon. And you just add those together. And then you add in some lemon juice. This really gives it a nice flavor. A trick, if you're ever making simple syrup and you don't know when if the syrup is done or not, is just to look at that peel. If the peel shrivels up and looks like candy peel, it looks like something you want to eat, then it's done. If it doesn't, then you still have to just let it work. So you stir these two, let it simmer. Stir these together. And you're going to bring it to a boil on, on high heat. And you reduce the heat to low. Once it boils, don't stir. If you stir after it boils, it crystallizes. Let it simmer 10 minutes and then it'll be done. Just let it go and leave it aside. As soon as this comes out of the oven, you cut it, and then you pour the syrup on top. That's it. That's it. And this is what the finished product looks like. But those are my uneven cuts, but that's what it'll look like at the end. It's a very big one. That will be served later. That will be served later. <laughs> <laughs> After the day. Any questions? Thank you. Thank you. Welcome back Welcome to back. Top of the Morning with our guests here, Al. You were talking about um, the program, the, the tours, and you also, off break, you were talking about needing host families. Tell us more about that. What, yes, actually in, uh, in the program of a student teacher exchange that we bring students here, uh, definitely we're looking for host families. Okay. Um, and one of the uh, programs that we are involved with the Sister City International, that they're going to bring 20 students, high, sc high school students, from the Arab countries, from Jordan, Morocco, and Egypt. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they will uh, tour the United States for three weeks and stay in Baltimore for four days. Mm -hmm. And that's where we need uh, uh, host families. We need host families. And this is whoever going to be involved in the host family right. the following year going to be selected to uh, go on a tour to the Arab countries. Oh, wow. So they're going to take wow. 20 students from the United States, maybe six or so from Baltimore, mm -hmm. and they're going to stay with the same uh, student that they came mm -hmm. here, oh, that's uh, and that's the kind of exchange. That's a great opportunity. So, so how can they get in touch with you, or what do they do if they want to become a host family, someone out there watching? Well, uh, they can email me, and my email is elabd number six at gmail dot com. Mm -hmm. uh, the other way is they can go to our website, which is Baltimore Egypt one word dot org, and uh, they can uh, uh, contact us through the website. Okay. We have uh, an email okay. for the website. And, and uh, we can connect with them. So, so how soon do you need these uh, 
folks to get in touch with you because they're coming soon, right? Uh, they're coming in uh, uh, the, the, the summer of 2009. Oh, um, nine. Okay. Yeah. So, so they nine. have time, but uh, you know, the sooner the better because mm -hmm. uh, first come, first out. serve. And how many so, yeah. families? How many? Families well, they, they are they are twenty students coming, mm -hmm. uh, so, including the uh, chaperone. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you so, can, you if someone has a big enough house, they can. Put right, two. they they can accommodate more uh, two or three. Okay. And sure. That's right. That's right. Okay. So and whoever does that, uh, he will have a chance the following summer to go and visit uh, some of the Arab country like uh, Jordan, Egypt, uh, Morocco, and so on. Mm -hmm. and, and what's Intel, let's say if I wanted to host, what's Intel in hosting? You're paying for all of their food, or you, what, what are you well, doing? Well, the, the hosting involved uh, actually the accommodation and some of the food. Mm -hmm. uh, the, our committee, uh, or the city of Baltimore, we. Uh, we're going to provide the local transportation. We're going to provide all the sightseeing that they can go to the aquarium, the Fort McHenry, and the Maryland Science Center. Okay. All that uh, free access to all this. Mm -hmm. So we provide a program uh, for them. But the com but the hosting is uh, that interaction. Just for accommodation. Accommodation. Sure, mostly. And, hey, it sounds like a great opportunity yeah. for yes, anybody who wants to host. Absolutely. A uh, especially people, yeah. the, the attractive part is only four days. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So it's a, you can not a long up stay. Somebody for four yes. days, especially <laughs> if you got a big enough house, you right? Have your, have your opportunity to go out to Egypt. So yes, yeah. and yeah. you have the opportunity, and the mm -hmm. sister city uh, pay for the has a grant to pay for the air oh, travel okay. for I the people from that. here. Yeah. yeah. So they that's, don't that's even have to pay for their air no, travel. No, no, yeah. that's. And then they have a place to stay when they get there. And they have a place to stay when they get there. Yes, absolutely. So you better hurry. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> wow, that sounds very interesting. So let's take a look and more about what you're talking about. Let's take a look.
Yeah, it was. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you. Oh, Thank you. wow. I'm, I'm excited. Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, the best way is you come with us to Egypt. Mm -hmm. wow. That's one of the other things we establish uh -huh. as annual tours to Egypt. Here in October. In October. In yeah. October. In October. What's going to take place on that tour? Well, yeah. how uh, long is it? Is that what this place? brochure is yes. about? Yes. Okay. And um, this is about 11 days, five stars hotel, mm -hmm. uh, a night cruise from Aswan to Luxor. Mm -hmm. And uh, you go to Alexandria. The city you, you visit is Cairo, Alexandria, looking, seeing included, mm -hmm. uh, temples, museums, and uh, tombs. Uh, in addition to three meals a day. Actually, you have members from our committee going with the group that they are um, Egyptian-American. So mm -hmm. they, they, ha they know both culture, mm -hmm. so oh. they help out. In addition mm -hmm. to that, so you're going to have uh, the mayor of I Baltimore. I was going to say you got a special guest Yeah, mm -hmm. we have a special guest. The, the mayor Shea. of uh, uh, Sheila Dixon, the mayor of Baltimore. Uh, he, he's going in a health mission to mm -hmm. Egypt and Israel. Okay. Yeah, and she's gonna stay in Egypt in four days, that inside our trip. So okay. uh, in Luxor, we're gonna have a dinner hosted by the governor of Luxor, mm -hmm. wow. and Sheila Dixon will be our guest. Mm -hmm. And then in Alexandria, we're gonna have the same thing. I mean, the okay. governor of Alexandria have a dinner and uh, Mayor Sheila Dixon will be with us. Mm -hmm. In addition to that, uh, another group will intercept with us in Luxor, which is the director of the Walters Art Museum, okay. uh, Dr. Uh, Gary Viken, uh, with a group of uh, donors to the, uh, uh, the museum, and uh, they're going to be with us at that dinner too. Wow. Mm -hmm. yes. Wow. So whoever take the trip, they are also invited to the dinners. Absolutely, mm -hmm. yes. Okay. Sounds wonderful. Sounds Just. awesome, yeah. I think Thank I'm going to go. Yes. <laughs> and, Please and, come. And you talk <laughs> about Egyptian cuisine. I, I've never had... Egyptian well, cuisine. I've never had it. Well, but, well it, it's a... What you can say, it, uh, it's a Middle Eastern. Mm -hmm. Okay, maybe yeah. I have it. Right. I love Middle and Eastern. And the Middle Eastern, like it's uh, uh, Lebanese, Turkish, mm -hmm. um, uh, you know, all this Mediterranean. Uh, it is similar, which is, uh, there is some items here. You okay. can find. So I, give, when give when I came 40 years ago, yeah. you couldn't find any. Really? <laughs> yes. Now you can find now, now you find in the supermarket, you find the pita bread. Mm -hmm. Yes, I you love find pita the uh, feta cheese. Mm -hmm. Love feta yeah. cheese. You find the mango juice. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. like I come from Egypt, by the way, in the giant. That. Yes. I mm -hmm. thought it was Jamaica. Oh, yes. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> but we talk uh, other items you're probably familiar with, like falafel. Yeah. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, we good. have the moussaka, which is the eggplants. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, the lamb usually uh, it's famous so that there. Is more uh, the grape leaf, leaf, leaf stuff. I love. Yes. It. Very very okay, similar to Lebanese yes. food. Yes. 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 Almost, almost the same. All right. Yeah. Come for yes. one second. Wow. I <laughs> am so excited. I, I, I can't wait. You? Yeah, me yeah. too, yeah. Well, we, we love to have you all. Uh -huh. yes. Well, we want to go, okay? Yes. All We're right. We're going to go to a break now, but when we come back, we'll talk more. Okay. All right, now, come
Tell you, this has been a fantastic show. Thank yeah, you so much. This, this really has been. Yeah. So yeah. It's a pleasure to be here mm -hmm. with you. You too. Uh, pleasure for you to be here with us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, do you have any last thoughts for our audience at home? Well, um, the last one I really want to get the word around that there is something called Sister City. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And this is really involved a citizen diplomacy. So the more people knows about it, and the mm -hmm. more people can get involved in our program, right. uh, it's, it's wonderful. And uh, mm -hmm. we hope to hear from all of you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for yeah, sharing the information. Thank you for coming on top of the morning. Yeah. Thank you. And we hope to travel to Egypt with you, right? <laughs> That's right. Super. <laughs> That's right. And Super. definitely eat food. Oh That's my right. God, eat the food. Yeah. Well, what, what <laughs> of, one of the good things about it, coming to Egypt is in addition to the history, 7,000 years history, temples and, and tombs and museum mm -hmm. you're going to see is there is three things that you will see there. I mean, the people are very warm, mm -hmm. the food is excellent, and the weather is fantastic. Wow. The sun shines all day. Oh, my goodness. I'm ready to go. Yes. Me too. Let's pack our bags. <laughs> All right. But thanks again for You're joining quite us welcome. here on Top thank of the you. Morning. It's and a thank, pleasure. Thank you. And then remember, if you want to be a host family, get in touch with him. That's a great uh, opportunity. Great opportunity. Uh, he gave you the information, but you can also check it out on the bottom of the screen. Mm -hmm. Okay. Jess, it was, it was a pleasure, right? It was, it was awesome. It was thank you. That's, uh, and come back and see us again, okay? Mm -hmm. Pleasure. I will. <laughs> Thank you very much. Right. Thank you. Thank you for having me.
Bye-bye. Bye-bye. We'll see you next time. Wow. That was cool. It, this was a great show. That was awesome. I learned a lot, and oh. I'm, I'm thinking maybe I could be a host.